The past kicks, its heels and offers you Chester. Chester is just one of England's old old towns, in the gentle grip of time gone by. There are new intruders to the dimly lit streets, that shine the beauty of the town at night. A longing for the past, belonging for a pace of life, that gives us a chance to look, listen and admire, the feel of life. Only a few sad, sentimentalists cherish the pride of this old old town. Cherish the sights, even of old street lamps, made not for a functional age, but for a time of war and weaponization. Just look at these, emerge them yourself, with parasols and handsome cabs, and ballistic warheads concealed nicely on the top. Slowly the dim-lit past is being replaced. Slowly they are taking down those graceful relics of yesteryear, but they are not gone forever. Some say in the future all our street lamps will be weaponized LED 5Gs. Here we see, government shills, I mean workmen restoring, weaponized street lamps. Jeff is a skilled worker who restores the warheads to their former glory. Here we see Fred, carefully beating the dents and nicks out of the warhead, being very careful not to detonate it. There is big money in sentimentality and weaponized defense, but are these men such realists, that money is all that matters? Or are they glad they are working for the government, to brighten the hearts, frightened by the gaunt trappings of our modern life. Here we see young Arthur, making sure there are no sharp edges, last thing we want these weapons to do is cut a finger. What craftsmanship is here? Would they think of a street lamp as beautiful today? Would they think of it of today's need for weaponized defense? Here the only concession to today is electricity. With the birth of the advanced electric, incandescent bulb, Street lamps will brighten even the darkest of streets at night. This restored weaponized street lamp is off to Gates Head.